Hi guys. We have Dan here and we have my mom, Karen. And we are here today to show you how to make a garden chicken Alfredo. Hi Annie with, um, hi Melissa with balsamic vinaigrette dressing and then balsamic vinaigrette beans and tomatoes. So let's get started. We're gonna, I'll explain everything while we go. And at any point, if you guys want some samples, please comment which samples you would like. I have, I just got a lot of the balsamic vinegar samples in, which is what we'll be doing today. Um, some more uh, guacamole and then fajita and um, Asian stir fry. So if you guys want any of those, let me know and I will mail them to you because they fit right in an envelope. Okay, so here we go. So who would like to be our first volunteer? Mom, okay, Karen will be our first volunteer. Yay. And we're gonna start out by making the sauce for the chicken Alfredo. So for that, you need your Alfredo sauce packet. And we are going to need some milk, so I'm gonna grab that real quick. So if you could please pour in a cup and a half of milk using our portion cups. They are measured so you can see one fourth cup, one half cup, three fourths, and then the full thing is a full cup. So one and a half cups, please. Got it. And then when we do this, she is going to then add the packet in and then she's gonna whisk it until it comes to a boil, and then we're going to let it simmer for three minutes. All right, Melissa, definitely Asian stir fry sample. Okay. So, yep, she's going to add that. You're doing a great job. Great job, Mom. And um, Thank you. before, also, or during, um, you're going to want to boil some pasta. I already did that to save you guys the time of watching the pasta boil. Hi, Sue. So, this is already done. I'm using the Epicure ladle right now um, just to kind of show you guys the noodles. So, I'm just going to set these aside. Thank you. Okay, so while um, Karen is whisking um, the Alfredo sauce. I'm gonna have um, Dan come in and we are going to make the balsamic vinegar while we wait for that sauce to heat up. <laughs> Cooking sandwich. Okay, so with this cruet, <laughs> it's what we're going to make our salad dressing in and it comes with a lid so you can store it up to a week in your fridge. We are, it has measurements on it. So Dan, I'm gonna have you do for the balsamic vinaigrette dressing, one fourth cup of funnel definitely needed for this, learned the hard way. So one fourth cup of the balsamic vinegar and then I already, already measured out one third cup olive oil. Then we're gonna use two tablespoons of the balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Again, this is the four and one spice spoon, one tablespoon, one teaspoon, um, half teaspoon, and a quarter teaspoon. So two tablespoons of that into the salad cruet dressing cruet, please. And again, hi Ashley. 
if um oh hi Delaney hi Everly I hear we're making one of your favorite meals Alfredo I wish you guys were here to taste it um again if you guys want any samples mailed to you um yeah perfect if you want any samples mailed to you, I have guacamole, fajita, Asian stir fry, balsamic vinaigrette. Just uh, comment on here and I will mail them out to you, right? Um, put it in the envelope. So, again, just comment at any time. Yeah. Or you just make a little mess. That's all right. Thanks. Hi, good mom. You're welcome. So, she whisked the sauce until it came to a boil. All right, if you would like to put the cap on and shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, so. And we're gonna store our dressing in the fridge because we're gonna use that for the beans and the cherry tomatoes. So she whisked this. <laughs> I kind of just hit myself in the face. <laughs> Perfect. You said fridge, right? Yes, okay. So once this is to a boil, you're going to reduce to medium heat and let it simmer for three minutes. Wait, Dan. Yes. Olive oh, oil. Oh, wow. The great thing is, with the cruet, if you forget an ingredient, boop, we're going to add it right back it's in. It's that easy. You're silly like me. I was wondering, I was like, that looks low. Yeah, Perfect. I thought it was missing something. Nope. Should have known. Nope. That looks really good. I'm excited. Okay. It smells good. Hi, Alyssa. Okay. So we've made the dressing and we started the sauce. So next we are going to um, prep some stuff, the chicken and the veggies in the steamer to go with the garden um, chicken alfredo. Okay. So... Dan was nice enough to pre-cube um, about one organic chicken breast for us to throw in the steamer. Um, you can cook everything in the steamer at once. That's why I love it so much. So I already cut up most of the broccoli. But mom, do you want to try cutting up the bro some sure. broccoli a little bit? Yes, I will. With the Pep Pro paring knife, please. Just um, just the florets, please. Yes, ma'am. Just gonna stir this again. I always like to keep stirring it. So at the end, um, these veggies and chicken is what we're gonna add the sauce and the noodles to. So that will be the whole garden chicken alfredo. Is that good? Perfect. And then the cool thing about these cutting mats is they're cutting mats, but you will whoop, and then it can go right into the steamer. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of the marinara seasoning. Mm. I'm going to do one tablespoon and one tablespoon and one teaspoon. I know um, my dad doesn't like a lot of um, the spice. So then, so the broccoli and chicken, and I threw in a few tomatoes in here. We are gonna steam this for six minutes, and then we're gonna check it. I'm gonna use these tongs really quick just to mix it up. We're gonna cover it with the steamer lid and cook it for six minutes. So. Dan, if you could please do that. Thank you very much. Anytime. Okay, so this is thickened, so we are going to turn this on a lower heat so it stays warm for our class, but it's not going to burn. Okay. So while we wait for that chicken and vegetables, once that's done, our entree will be done. So we're back to our appetizer. 
which is, um, I already pre-did it for you guys. Um, hi Aunt Kathy, hi Sam. If you guys want any samples at any time, I have balsamic vinegar, guacamole, Asian stir fry, um, fajita mix. Just let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay, so now we're back to the appetizer or side dish or whatever you would like to call it. So I already pre-cut the green beans. So for this one, we did about two cups green beans, um, about half a cup of cherry tomatoes to a cup. And when the chicken and veggies are done for the Alfredo, we are gonna throw this in there for five to seven minutes, depending on your microwave. And then when this is done, we are going to drizzle the balsamic vinaigrette over it. And so that's gonna be like the little, the, it's already perfectly balanced meal with the veggies and the chicken in there, but we just added more veggies, cause why not? So once that is done, we're gonna throw this in. minutes left on that. Oh, I can show you guys dessert now. So we, I know you guys have probably seen this a lot, but it's my favorite in this time. We added blueberries to it. It's the chocolate cheesecake. Um, and I could not find the chocolate graham crackers in the store, so I actually used um, Oreos, and I took the cracker part of the Oreo and left the, the cream part and used that for something else, and I um, put that in the food processor to substitute for the graham cracker crumbs. So, and it's very good. I might like it a little better, but... I'm not sure. So this is that with blueberries on it, and that's what, oh, thank you, Sam. That's going to be our dessert. And Sam actually had a really good idea the other day. Um, she is going to drizzle chocolate, melted peanut butter over this, and I might do that with one of these because that sounds really good. So real quick, I'm going to check the chicken. Okay, so we just have a few more minutes on the chicken and the broccoli, um, and then I'll show you how to throw that together while the, um, the green beans are cooking, but I just wanted to take a moment just to let you guys know, I know a lot of you were excited about the tortilla press before, um, and so if you guys happened to want to do like a virtual cooking class this month the month of april and kind of i know a lot of people are doing zoom calls and everything so even like a zoom cooking call or anything and you want to be a host and have a chance to win that um specialty item let me know and we can definitely plan something and get you that tortilla press because um, i know a lot of people wanted it okay so our chicken is just about done, so I'm gonna go get that real quick. Again, please let me know if you guys want samples. I'm bored and I need something to do, so mailing you guys out samples would be a lot of fun. And, um, again, guacamole, balsamic vinegar, Asian stir-fry, um, fajita, three onion, 
comment and it is yours. Please. Okay, so now the chicken is done. And so we are going to cover this one and throw that in for five minutes, please. Okay, so our veggies are steamed and our chicken is cooked all the way through. Give you guys a close up. Fajita and balsamic. You got it. Those will be coming up to Marquette. Put the sauce on it before? Nope. 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 No sauce before. Just put the green beans and the tomatoes in. Did you cover it? Yep. Yep. Covered with the steamer for five minutes. And then we drizzle the dressing on after. So this is the chicken and the broccoli all cooked together with the marinara seasoning. So. We are actually going to, I'm just going to combine everything in here because I don't like doing dishes. So, gonna, you can always, you know, portion your own plates out, but, so you guys can kind of see. pasta and the alfredo sauce to the steamer with the broccoli chicken marinara no you know what tongs are probably not the best tool to use at this moment so we're going to come back to the spatula it's getting messy now so this is all done so um and those are almost done. So however long it's taken us to make all this, it's done. Your dinner is ready. I'm going to add a little bit more pasta in. And show you guys what this would look like as a finished product. We only have three minutes left on the green beans. Epicure ladle I'm going to use. I am still experimenting with all of my cookware, so I just end up using all the spoons because I like using all of them. Okay. So, this is what our first dish or our main course looks like. Hope you can see it. And it smells very fresh. This Alfredo, it's not, you can make it a heavier Alfredo, but it's not extremely heavy so it's a lot lighter on the stomach I know someone told me that they can't eat like normal Alfredo from restaurants but they can eat Epicures and it doesn't upset their stomach as much and if you want to I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese on top um, so yep just add some Parmesan cheese and so now we will add the green beans, um, tomatoes, balsamic vinaigrette, and our meal is done. Thank you, Annie, and thank you, Sam. Thank you, Melissa. Can I come up? Yeah, Dan, come on in. Okay. Anytime. So I've had this chicken Alfredo a few times, and what I like about it is that it's very light tasting, so it's not heavy like the ones at the restaurants, but you don't have to eat a ton to be full, if that makes sense. So, I don't know, that's why I like it, so. No, that's, yeah. That, honestly, it's all very true. Have you, did you try it with the marinara seasoning before? You it gives what? it even, I don't think you've tried it with that. It, with the marinara Maybe seasoning, not. it's gonna give it a little, even more of flavor. And the good thing about um, their seasonings is Compared to store bought, the sodium on these is a lot less. The marinara specifically has zero milligrams of sodium, which I thought was really cool. All right, so I'm gonna get our dressing and our green beans out. So 
our green beans and tomatoes. Thank you, Dan. Our dressing. Let me clean off my tongs really quick. Awesome. Okay. And our green beans. Just um, in this steamer for, we did about five minutes. Um, I like them a little crunchier. And then once we add that, we're going to take the balsamic vinaigrette we made earlier. We're gonna drizzle that over. And here you guys go. This is our balsamic green beans and tomatoes, our garden chicken alfredo, and then our cheesecake with um, blueberries on top, chocolate fudge, and I might put some melted peanut butter on it. Thank you, Sam. Um, so it was all really easy to make. It was <laughs> having my mom and Dan in here. I was kind of like, I don't know what time you guys do, really. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. You learned something. I wish you were here to try it. Again, samples. Let me know if you didn't hear what ones I said. You should go back and watch the beginning of this video. And um, I said it like 15 times. Thank you, Maddie. Um, I can't wait to see your unboxing video soon. I'm excited. Um, I think you definitely have an Alfredo in there. So I think you'll be able to make that. So um, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions about how we made something, let me know any substitutions because I know a lot of stuff isn't available right now in the grocery store. Um, I'll post the recipes on this page. And um, yeah, I'll post a link if you happen to wanna, if you see something you want. Oh, and so, um, there is a giveaway going on right now. I don't know if a lot of people saw it. If you go back and tag three people you think love cooking and maybe in, invite a person to cooking with Janessa, you'll get entered and you're gonna win the balsamic vinaigrette, a whole dressing mix, and an Alfredo packet so you guys can make this at home. So I had posted it on my page, so just scroll back a little bit um, and I'll announce the winner later tonight. Um, and I can't stare at this any longer without eating it. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. And um, I'll post the info and the links below. All right. Bye, guys.